Hi there. In this video we will be taking a look at something that I wasn't planning on buying but then uh, necessity came over. And it's basically an energy meter with some safety, safety, uh, uh, I don't know, <sighs> limits probably it's the better word set in. So let's get to it. I am not going to consider this uh, a fuse, although it has uh, limits like a fuse. Let me explain exactly. So you can set a current limit from 1 to 63 amps when it will trigger. So if you go above that, it will trigger and cut off the power to your house, for example. You can set a voltage. You can see here from 130 to uh, 300 volts where you can set the over or under voltage limit and then again boop, it will cut the power. Somebody was saying that this has two big relays inside of it which is kind of cool. You can also set leakage current so to protect you in case of uh, a faulty device so you don't get electrocuted from 10 to 99 milliamps. Uh, it also has a recovery time from 1 second to 500 seconds. So basically, and the mosquito biting me, uh, I hate mosqui mosquitoes. I will also do a video in a moment for something that has to do with mosquitoes. So watch for that. Hopefully this will get rid of them once and for all. So. Uh, recovery time, in case it gets over current, over voltage, over whatever, you can set it uh, to repower on by itself in from 1 to 500 seconds, depending on what you want. Uh, power of time, that I do not know. Maybe how quickly it will react in case of uh, uh, one of those limits uh, is uh, breached. This is the model itself and uh, the most important thing also for me, it's an energy meter and it's a Wi-Fi energy meter and it works with the Tuya app. So basically I can uh, check in the app for power consum consumptions, I hope in a graph daily, monthly, yearly, something like that. That's what I'm hoping at least because uh, in our country, we have a 300 kilowatts hour limit and if I go, go above that uh, even with 1 kilowatt, I'm going to pay double the price for the energy. And each and every single month, I'm almost there. And this month, uh, it's a heat wave, so I think we will be over it if I don't take uh, extreme measures, like uh, limiting how much we use the AC and uh, other devices in the house which kind of sucks. This will also show me the instant consumption of the house uh, itself so I can see hmm I plugged that in that seems to be drawing a bit uh, too much power let's not plug it if it's not completely necessary today stuff like that so yeah let's get inside of uh, this box for Romanian viewers which uh, a bit weird, you do not see the Tuya marking on the box itself, but uh, you do see the Tuya marking right there. And I do have some Tuya devices, so I'm quite used to their app. A few buttons to set whatever you need. The company seems to be Tom's, whatever. It's China Special, standard uh, fuse uh, uh, holder in here, in the back of it in at the top, out at the bottom, can take quite thick wires, which is good, because this is really big device and if it would only take uh, thin wires that would be a problem. And yes, in case, I don't know, of something, you can actually remotely cut the power to your house, but if your router uh, doesn't have a UPS connected to it to keep it on, you will be locked out and you cannot power on your house. <laughs> so, uh, 
So uh, be careful about cutting it from the app itself. If it does it by itself, by the limits that you have set, it can power back on. So that's okay. But if you do the cutting, well, it's your fault. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to remove the, the uh, protection until I install it and then I will peel it off. But basically, now I'm going to go and uh, install it and hope for the best. My bad. Did not even realize this uh, comes with a manual. So feel free to pause at any time to read most of what I uh, told you. And couldn't properly find, uh, found, find the manual for this thing before buying it. So hopefully in case you are looking at this before buying the product, this uh, manual that I'm showing will give you all the required info even for connecting uh, your particular device. Great. Let's install it and set it up and whatnot the way I want. Let's see, first power on, hopefully it will enter some kind of pairing mode. And I will go into the app. Have an electrician install this for you. And it clicked on by itself. And now I will enter uh, the app. And this is what we are drawing now. So this many watts. 0.5 kilowatts instant draw. Ain't that cute, but it's wrong. And I think this is what we are losing now. Uh, 5 milliamps, which is basically nothing for a whole house and lots of things plugged in. It's good. Okay, entering to your app, let's do a, an add device. And, uh, whoa, where were we? Who are we? I don't remember where we were. So we go to energy and switch module Wi-Fi. Could be in pairing mode, let's see. Uh, it's not blinking or? No, we just have some pulse. How do I reset this thing? I need to check the manual, I'll be back in a second. I think we need to long press this for five seconds or something like that. And now probably we are in pairing mode. Although it's not blinking, is it? Let me still try, it's blinking. Blinking slowly, let's see. One device found, so uh, even if it wasn't blinking, it was just steady on. Add. And now it's blinking while it's adding, so it's doing something. That's interesting. And it was added successfully. Let's give it a new name. This means meter in Romanian. Done. And I think we will enter its menu. And uh, yeah, we are getting some info, but not the voltage yet and amps. It might take a moment to update. Let me play around with it and get back to you later. This is flickering because my internet is down. At the moment I'm playing with some settings, so nothing to do with the unit, but I remember I did not do this. That's cool. Oops. Whoa, now this is a consumption. I think the AC just kicked in. I must shut it off now. So We've been using this for more than two weeks, I think, so uh, I kind of made uh, my mind about it. I can say I really like it. This residual current, it's kind of uh, exactly what it is, because I also tested with a PicTech current clamp, and uh, this is what it also says, so that's uh, spot on. But I need to tell you something from the start. If the router that you connect this to is after it so this will also cut the power to your router you might have an issue if you go to expense and ever click on this just to play around with it you cannot turn it 
on again. This is kind of a stupid design in the firmware. Even if you go outside in your fuse box and press on the on button, it will see switch on for a second and then it will see switch off. Because uh, this is kind of a prepay system where you change how much energy you have paid for. So you put a limit to what it can consume and it comes with zero. So I kind of switched that to 9999 kilowatts hour. So I never run out if I switch to it by mistake and don't notice it. Because uh, I had issues. Uh, charge? No, don't charge anything. You can see it already started to use from that. <laughs> But I don't uh, use it to in that prepay way because I don't want this thing cutting out and then I think, hey, what? why did it cut out? What happened? So I don't use this system. But I did click on it and I had zero here and it sucked because I needed to simulate my uh, Wi-Fi network on my uh, wife's mobile phone, let it connect to that. So I put the same uh, SSID and... Uh, the same password, uh, disconnected to it, uh, it thought it's my router, but it was actually a phone. I connected with my phone to that same phone and then uh, topped up this and then disabled uh, this to be able to have uh, energy in my home again. And it was 11 in the evening, so it kind of sucked. So be careful about this. You cannot change it any other way from the settings, from the manual, it will not allow you, only from the app. So that kind of sucks, it's, it's a big fault, but once you have something like this value right here, you will never have to worry. Uh, do not touch this. From my understanding, this will cut the power. And again, if the router is after it and you are in a vacation and you have touched this, I don't think you have any way of turning it back on. If you are home, you simply go outside and press on the power button on it and it will turn uh, again on. But... Uh, if you are away and you press on this, you have an issue. So I'm not going to press on it. Uh, sadly, you cannot hide, hide it or disable it. I wish that would, would be an option, so I don't press on it by mistake, but it is what it is. Uh, the rest of it, this seems to be fairly accurate. This, uh, the voltage, so I, I kind of like it. And we have this graph that shows you daily what you are con consuming. For example, here the AC was on. So it's quite clear that uh, it used a lot of power. Let's go to yesterday. Here uh, there were some uh, problems with the main internet provider uh, to which this is connected. Uh, but I have a secondary one. So rest of the devices in the house had internet, but this did not have internet. So the second internet on that provider was back on, it registered all of the energy consumed uh, between these hours. Let's see, a day prior, same thing, so my main internet provider uh, these days has a bit of an issue and I will show you why it has an issue. Let's go to month, month just for example, you can see daily your consumption, so it's, it's kind of cool. You can see yearly, but uh, yes, uh, this only after it works for a few years will make any sort of sense. So it's quite cool. Um, and you also can see the outages. This is why I had all kind of uh, breaks uh, in internet from the main provider because it kind of takes out their equipments. And for all of this, there was a power outage in our area, short or longer. But it was, but it only keeps uh, the last uh, few days from what I can see. So, uh, yeah, quite a, a nifty device. Don't touch this and uh, don't touch this unless you have topped up from uh, this uh, thingy with some uh, energy. Let's do a test in the interest of science. Are you sure? Oh, so it actually asks you. You cannot do this by mistake. Okay, I like that they did this. Awesome. Thanks. And they are not even in the same place. So if you touch this twice, it's more likely you touch cancel. But if you touch confirm and powers out. And if you have the router after it, well, that sucks for you. You need to turn it on manually.
as you can see it's off but here we are and here is the power so we are back on and everything is working once again but they have a safety as you could see and uh, that's kind of awesome if you ever want to change the settings that the manual showed you uh, long press on set and then continue to press on set to cycle through them the way manual shows every and single every single one of them what they mean from here you go up from here you go down it's it's kind of uh, nice but for me i will not change uh, anything so go to to the end until we see end where is end and now we are done so it should uh, probably, if I press again, come out of the menu. Yep. And here I think we can test the differential. Let's see. Yep. It uh, tests the differential part of it. Which is again cool. So I think now uh, press that and we're back on to functioning normally. So in all honesty, this is uh, an awesome unit. Uh, it's doing exactly what I wanted it to do and it's doing it quite well. So, hope this video helps you, in which case please give it a like, check out my other videos and as always, see you in the next one. Bye.